Welcome to the vCloud Automation Center video, Resource Reclamation. We will begin by defining what resource reclamation is, and in particular, how vCAC can help customers through the four steps of reclamation, identify, verify, reclaim, and improve. Next, we will log into vCAC and demonstrate these capabilities from an administrative and end user perspective. Services may be oversized or services may be unused. Often consumers do not return services they don't need anymore. They hoard them because historically it has been hard to get them in the first place. With vCloud Automation Center, it is easy to identify these unused services and reclaim them with a few clicks. For example, it is easy to identify all machines which were not used for a certain amount of time. The owners of those machines can get notified by email to log into the machine within a certain time period if they would like to keep the service. In the same email, they can also be advised how to redeploy the service through the self-service catalog in case they would need to service again in the future. If the consumer does not log into this service, the service gets reclaimed by VCAC. The cost savings to reclaiming oversized or unused services is considerable. Many customers save up to 30% on CapEx. Customers buy VCAC for the agility it provides, but the cost savings often help to justify the purchase. ROI models are available. In VCAC, administrators can customize the reclamation workflow, creating variable lengths for the time periods between first notification, second notification, and the eventual reclamation of the machine. In addition, Reclamation policies can be combined with the archival policies on the machine's blueprint to archive the machine for a specified period even after the owner thinks it's been deleted. Lastly, the group manager can also be notified. This is useful when the owner may have left the company and someone else needs to make a decision if this machine is still needed or not. Now that we have discussed resource reclamation, Let's log into VCAC as a tenant administrator and walk through the process. To begin the reclamation process, click on the Administration tab and then select Tenant Machines Reclamation. The reclamation window allows you to filter the list of machines using each of the columns listed in the report. Click the arrow on the right side of the advanced search window to expand the advanced search filters. Here you can filter by a variety of options. For example, you could find machines that are powered off or that have a very low average CPU utilization. Click the magnifying lens to perform the search. You might want to minimize the advanced search window to get a better view of the results. You can also sort by any of the columns to help you find even better candidates for reclamation. If you find one or more machines that you would like to reclaim, select them and then click the Reclaim Virtual Machine button. In the Reclamation window, specify the duration of the new lease. Next, specify the number of days the machine owner has to respond to the request. At the end of that time, the machine will get a new lease with the new lease length. Then, specify a reason for the reclamation. When you're finished, click Submit. As an administrator, you can also view detailed information about existing reclamation requests. Click Reclamation Requests to view the report. The advanced search bar allows you to filter on the various items in the report. Now let's log in as a user who would be receiving the reclamation notice. In addition to being notified within VCAC, this user will also receive a reclamation notification email. Once we are at the home screen of VCAC, we can see that this user has a reclamation request waiting for their attention within the inbox portlet. Click on the reclamation request for more information and to respond to the request. As the owner of this machine, 
we can respond to this reclamation request. Since we no longer need this server, let's go ahead and release this machine for reclamation by clicking the Release for Reclamation button. We will then be taken to the Approval screen where we can see and respond to any other approvals that have been assigned. We can also navigate to the Reclamation Requests area. Let's log back in as the Tenant Administrator. As a Tenant Administrator, we can also view reports on the savings we have achieved through Reclamation as seen in the IAAS Reclamation Savings by Group portlet. We can click and drag the portlets found on the home screen to arrange them to our liking. The portlets found on the home screen can also be customized and arranged in various layouts and locations. Hover over the pencil icon in the top right corner to see the full list of available portlets. Let's add the IAAS Reclamation Savings by Owner report by clicking the Add button and then closing the portlets window. Next, let's change the layout of the home screen to more effectively view the data in this report. Now we can see some detailed information about the savings we have achieved through Reclamation. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope that it was informative. To learn more about vCloud Automation Center, there are additional videos available.